How did we manage to make this display that on there? Well, keep tuned and we'll find out. We'll go through the steps. Keep watching. Now, how about the next to rightmost? So basically it's the same as this, this code here, but not for digit zero, 01, it's for number 2. If we wanted to display in the number, I don't know, 7 there. So I'm hoping now this will say 75. Off it goes, upload, do your stuff. Come on Arduino, 75 here please. Hmm, how disappointing. If I remember rightly, I seem to remember that on switch on, only the rightmost digit was available for use. Well, I'm going back to read the data sheet about what it says on switch on to see what it says. Right, yes. Now, in fact, I'm just going to point the camera at the screen, something I don't normally do because the quality is not very good, but I'm just going to point it at the screen here and zoom in on the bit we need here. Otherwise, it will be initially be set to scan one digit. So this bit here. So that means one digit, which being the rightmost digit. Hmm, that's not what we want, is it? So, back to the old Arduino. So we need to set the scan limit register accordingly. So I want all my digits displayed. So let's um, change the code on this just before we uh, switch them on. Right, so here we are. I've copied um, this bit in here for you, which says the address mode uh, 0B, which is the um, address for the scan limit register, and the next byte tells it how many digits we actually want displayed. Now, by doing that, right, if we upload this, I'm hoping that all the digits will come on and display 75 in the right two most digits. Well, it has displayed 75. Maybe you can see that if I shield it a little bit. But as you can see, there's, there's rubbish data over here. Now, if we reset this, will it clear it? No, it hasn't. So let's um, unplug. And plug it back in again. Seems to be remembered some old data. Because we've said display all seven digits, but we've only set the right two most digits, it's just picking up random rubbish for these and displaying any old nonsense. So what we need to do if we're going to display something on those digits is to clear the others down or only display the digits we want to see. Well, it's, I think it's easier to say I want to display them all and clear the others down. So let's write the code for that. So what we should see is 91275 and then probably some rubbish in the remaining ones. So let's upload that. Oh, and there we go. 91275. Let me just shield that, make sure you can see it. Whoops. 91275 and still some rubbish in the others. So we're finished defining all the digits now, um, all the way through. So the last four, in fact, I've now been at the font table on that data sheet. Um, now, the interesting thing is, you see, the, the actual digits here, 1 through 9, or 0 through 9, I should say, are represented by the binary coded decimal equivalent in these bits here, D3 to D0. So if you know your binary, the first bit is, is 1, then 2, then 4, then 8. So you make up a combination of those right up to 9. So 9, for example, is 8 plus 1. Then you've got this dash, then we've got e -L -E -H -L -P. I'm just having trouble reading the screen now because the camera's in front of it. But that means um, if we look at the Arduino again, right, if we look at the Arduino again now and I upload these values, I'm hoping it should say HELP1275. Let's have a look. Uploading. Um, very nearly. 2134 not quite what I expected. Um, hmm. so, so I've changed these to the correct hexadecimal values for the letters now that we can, we've seen on the uh, font code. So let's upload this and see what we get on the display. Oh, and is it by magic? There we have help 1275, exactly as we wanted it. Now you can see how easy it is to put individual values on the digits like this. Now I'm able to shield this because it's all a bit it's all a bit dim. So the last thing we need to do is increase the intensity. So let me just paste in whoop, intensity. Right, let me paste in the code here to up the t intensity as per the intensity table or duty cycle, I should say. Now that's register A, hexadecimal A, 
And if we put it up fairly bright, well, we might as well put it up to full brightness, see what happens. That'd be value F. So register A, value F. Right, so there's the code, I'm hoping, for a brighter display. So if I just upload that, we should see the display brightness increase. Or at least I hope you do. Oh, my goodness me. That made one big difference. So that's full brightness now. Um, just to prove the point, let's bring it down to about half brightness, which would be oh, roughly 17.30 seconds, as it says here. There we are. That's, that's, that's comfortable reading, actually. So there we are. I think we've sort of cracked it, really. For those of you uh, who are not so familiar with coding, what you can see here is a repetitive block of code every time we needed to address this chip. You've got your digital write for the chip select, then you've got two outputs just for the address and the value, all the way down. It's the same repeating block of code. So this is a very poor way of writing code. We need to basically create some very, very simple and small subroutines to do this. So instead of saying digital write, shift out, shift out, digital write, we can just have a single call to say display. So let's see how we can do that in the very next video. Okay, thanks for watching, see you then. I hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting. Remember, you can leave comments down below and also click that little button that says subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.